Hello, here's the listening version of the blog post Spice Up Your Spring. The five, five best sp uh, spring spices to feel light and energized. As mentioned in the blog post about the kapha dosha, spring has heavy and slow qualities which makes it the perfect season to use all the spices. Spices have been used for thousands of years to bring health. You might see them mainly as flavor enhancers for your meals, <clears throat> but they are a potent little power seed that jump starts your digestion, helps release uncomfortable bloating and make you feel light and full of energy as a result. How many spices do you use in your cooking? When I grew up, salt, pepper and paprika were the go-to spices. When I started practicing yoga and was introduced to Ayurveda, a whole new world opened up. I felt like Alice in Wonderland. But which ones to use for what? Luckily, uh, living seasonally helps you to narrow it down. And the spring season is the one where you can go wild. The majority of spices have a pungent taste, which is what you need to balance the cold, slow, sticky and heavy kapha qualities. Pungency creates heat and accelerates the digestive process. You probably have noticed that you start to sweat when eating a chilly hot curry, for example. Which spices are best for spring? As mentioned, you are spoiled for choice. Here are five spices to give you some ideas. The first four are must-haves and the last one is good to have but might not feature in your kitchen just yet. Black pepper has pungent and bitter tastes which dry, sharp, hot and light qualities. Black pepper stimulates digestion, one of the most important spices. Expels phlegm, reduces gas and fever, gets rid of parasites, reduces armor, the toxins accumulate in your body, and strengthens agni, your digestive fire. All you need to keep your digestion strong in spring. You can sprinkle black pepper into everything. Ginger, an absolute must have in your kitchen, fresh and in powder form. Ginger has sweet and pungent taste. Fresh ginger is heavy and oily, but this heaviness does not impact the heavy uh, kapha quality. Ginger is physically heavy, because of its juices and it sinks down if you add it to water. It is a little heating, it is less heating, so it is less heating than its dry version. Whereas dry ginger powder has dry, light and sharp qualities. Ginger has cleansing, toning and stimulating properties. It is used for a multitude of health purposes, such as, as digestive issues, such as nausea, bloating, feeling full. It helps in case of muscular pain and relieves constipation. As a tea, it helps fight colds and coughs. Ginger digests armor, toxins accumulated in your body. You can grate fresh ginger into tea, dal and vegetable dishes. The dried ginger can be used in sweet dishes as well. Turmeric. Turmeric and ginger are from the same plant family. Therefore, it's a must-have spice in your kitchen. As ginger, <coughs> turmeric is available in two forms, fresh and the more commonly known dried powder. Its pungent, bitter and astringent tastes and light dry qualities make it perfect for balancing the spring's kapha dosha. 
Turmeric is an excellent blood and stomach purifier. It helps with dry skin. It helps, sorry, it helps with skin diseases, ulcers, and edema. It's anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, great wound healing, both inside and out, and helps heal spleen, liver, and kidneys. In its powder form, turmeric can be added to any tempering for vegetable dishes, dals, soups, and whatever you like. It works well with hot milk as a turmeric latte, which helps to digest the milk and the fat of the milk helps activate turmeric's activation and the fat of the milk helps activate turmeric's active agent. The fresh version makes a great pickle condiment to eat with your meals. I've often been asked what's best, fresh or dry. The dried version is more potent. You need to eat much more fresh turmeric to get the same effect as a teaspoon of dried turmeric. Cinnamon. Do you also love cinnamon? Its sweet taste makes it so pleasant. It is also, but it also has a very subtle pungent taste and it's astringent means it pulls the tissues together. Cinnamon has light, dry, sharp qualities. It promotes sweating, makes you pee and heal, reduces gas and blood sugar, expels phlegm, relieves pains, strengthens acne and improves circulation. Cinnamon comes in two forms, bark shavings or powder. It's best to buy, to buy the bark and grind it when you need the powder to keep it fresh and act effective. To release and excess the volatile oils, the bark must go into tempering for dal or if you cook meat. You can also boil it for digestive and cold cough teas. The powder works in milk, it helps digest the milk and it tones the nervous system. As cinnamon has a balancing effect on blood sugar, it is excellent in cakes, cookies, any sweet dishes and the taste is an extra bonus. Dill. Dill has a pungent and bitter taste but it also has light, dry and sharp qualities which make it an excellent companion during spring. The seeds reduce gas, strengthen menstruation and milk production for breastfeeding, stimulate the heart, expel phlegm and help with any disturbance of digestion, colic, piles, rheumatic and other joint swellings. Dill can be added to heavier vegetable dishes like potato for instance or in teas for colds or digestive issues. Because of its pungent taste it is widely used in pickling. That's more of a summer activity though the pickles can be eaten in moderation during springtime for gut health. Fresh dill has a subtler taste and works well with most matchable dishes with added, when added towards the end of the cooking process, likewise in soups and dals. Final thoughts. Revitalizing your springtime routines through the strategic use of spices. We often overlook their benefits, not just as a culinary enhancer, but as potent allies in combating the sluggishness that can accompany the spring season. Drawing from Ayurvedic principles, spices can effectively counteract the heavy and slow qualities of the kapha dosha that dominates this time of year. Spices offer a vast array of options 
made accessible through Ayurveda and the seasonal approach to eating, utilizing their ability to stimulate digestion, alleviate bloating and infuse the body with energy and lightness. Each spice has health benefits and culinary uses, which promise a more vibrant and energized spring. Embrace the therapeutic power of spices and transform your meals and well-being with a few simple additions to your pantry. Hope you have and use lots of spices in your food and enjoy it and keep reading. Thank you.